Hey guys, I'm glad that you joined me tonight. I know that with school started back that you guys are staying busier than ever during the week, so we'll make this a short lesson. Let's just do a quick review about what we covered Sunday. We learned in our study of David that one of the things that made him such a great king was his kindness. We saw Sunday that he went out of his way to show Mephibosheth, which was King Saul's grandson and Jonathan's son, kindness. He gave him back the land that belonged to their family, and he also fed Mephibosheth from his very own table every day. And he didn't have to do that. He, he was kind in doing that. We know that great kings are strong on the battlefield. But this example shows us that great kings are also strong, are also great because they show kindness. Now, he, David was a great king, but the greatest king of all, Jesus, also gives us the example of showing kindness. And we know we're to follow Jesus' example and that our kindness pleases him. But I want you to remember that being kind to each other is not only a command, it is something that we should want to do. It is also something that we will do when we realize how kind Jesus has been to us. I want you to think about this for a second. When your mom goes out of her way to fix your very favorite meal, do you want to be kind to her or unkind after she's shown you that act of kindness? You want to be kind, don't you? Or maybe your very best friend has a candy bar and instead of eating it in front of you, gives you half of it. When they show kindness to you, do you want to be kind to them back or unkind? Kindness makes you want to be kind back, doesn't it? So when we realize how kind God has been to us, then we should want to be kind to others because that's what Jesus wants us to do. You know, Sunday, our activity was designed to help us get started showing acts of kindness. And I'm not going to give you a new example or a new project to do. I want you to remember what we did Sunday, and I'm checking in on you to make sure you're still doing it. I also want those that weren't there on Sunday to know what we did so you can pick up and start too. We took colored paper, but it doesn't have to be colored. And we cut it into strips. And then on these strips, we wrote the names of people that we thought we might see during the week. Once you've done that, get a jar or a glass and put those in it. And every night before you go to bed, draw at least one name out. And when you read that name, commit to praying for that person, like I just drew Walker's name out, so I'm gonna pray for Walker tonight. And then think of a way that you can show him kindness this week. That gets us doing the things that make God happy and also shows the world that we are followers of Jesus. So let's pray and ask God to help us get started on showing kindness to others. Can you pray with me? Great, let's pray. Dear God, we love you so much and we are thankful for the kindness you've shown us. Thank you for taking care of us, for giving us friends and a family that love us. Thank you for our church family. And thank you most of all for sending Jesus. Help us please to be kind to others so that we can show the world how kind you are to us. In Jesus name, amen. All right, this week, let's be kind to others. Love you guys and see you Sunday, either on the video or in person at church.